Hello everyone, this is Charles with Mobile Homes R Us. I um, want to thank you for checking out yet another video of our virtual tours here. Um, what I'm going to do is show you a home here in Largo, Florida. Um, it's a very spacious home. We're looking at two bedrooms, one and a half bath. Um, tons of storage space as you'll see when I take you inside. Um, what I'm doing now is going to walk around the perimeter of the property and let you see the carport, which it is a covered carport in really good shape. Um, it also comes with a shed. We'll have a look inside here. It's a tad bit of a mess, but it's nothing that a little TLC won't fix. All right, and then as you can see through the carport, you have a clear pathway to make it to the back of your home, which here is the side door. Looking around, what I'll do is I'll take you on the outside of the property so you can see everything. Um, one thing you'll want to take note of is the great, br almost brand new central heating air system. Um, it is a ream, which is the top of the industry. Um, I think it's two, maybe three years old, but it runs excellent. And the good thing is the owner left the electricity on, so I will be able to show you this video, this tour, um, with all lights inside the house, so there won't be any dark spots. What you're looking at here, uh, those white panels are actually the back part of the Florida room. That's really smart to paint them over, that way you can prevent some sunlight from coming through if you wish. As you can see, the Florida room has windows all the way around, no screen. Which this leads you to their front door, which has a walkway directly up to the front. Okay, and what we're going to do is step into the first room, the Florida room. As you can see, it's got a concrete floor, um, but it's been painted, well cared for. Um, let me pull this drape up for you. Uh, this room is air conditioned by an individual air conditioner. That way you don't rely on heating and cooling this room um, with your, the rest of your house because that could be kind of cost ineffective. Um, okay, we're stepping into the home now. As you can see, beautiful wood flooring throughout the first half of the house. I'm taking you back through um, would be their common room here. And we're going to look around here and you can see their kitchen. Um, all new appliances. This has got a washer. This is a really unique piece of equipment here. This machine is actually a washer and a dryer. It's the first one I've ever seen. Didn't know it existed. Um, looking up. And it does come furnished. Everything that's in here does come with the home. You've got really nice shelving placed in here. And you have a brand new stove with an oven. A beautiful fridge. These are actually one of the, the best appliances I've seen in a mobile home in quite a long time. Okay, so what you just saw, which was back here, is the back half of the house, which is the half I'll be showing you after this. So we're going to go into the first part, as you see all the beautiful wood floors throughout. And this would be your spare bedroom. Um, this has two windows here, so you'll get plenty of natural light if that's the way you want to go. Of course, you do have lighting above. Um, and right here, you'll see you have a half bath. This half bath, of course, comes with a sink and a toilet. It just does not have a shower, but it's really perfect for guests. That way they can maintain some privacy. We'll go ahead and open up this closet door here. Um, as you can see, the owner left also some new um, fixtures. So if you wish to change out the bathroom fixtures, they will be provided to you. Um, and also a new lighting si uh, system kit, so if you wish to change any of the lighting, she went ahead and took care of that for each room. You'll see she has a couple more. Okay, we're going to walk back to the back of the house now. Right here, we're looking at an open storage space. Um, right next to that is yet another open storage space. She chose to hang some drapes here to give it some sort of coverage. Um, but really a lot of storage for a mobile home. You don't usually see them like this. Okay, now we're stepping into the master bathroom or the full bathroom. You've got a beautiful sink here. And if you wish, you could actually put a double vanity in here if that's something you wanted. You have ample enough space. Um, beautiful new toilet. 
and also the shower and that's a brand new shower fixture and once again just as before you've got tons of storage in this bathroom plus you have the additional fixture if you wish to replace the one that it comes with okay. now, unfortunately the owner had to leave quite abruptly to go to another country and she doesn't expect to return for many years so otherwise I don't think this home would have been on the market she loved it um, as you can see, it was tiled throughout the kitchen and the bathroom here. Um, but as you enter the master bedroom, you will see that she went ahead and put wood laminate flooring back down again. Or no, this is actually wood flooring. No, it's wood laminate. Um, have you look around. You have two spacious windows here for ample, fresh sunlight to come in. Um, tons of storage space. Let me open these up and we will step back and let you look at them. And that is on one side. Here. You have place for your shoes, little knickknacks, tons of space for clothes. So if you're a clothes person, this is perfect. Once again, it does come furnished, so the furniture that's in here does stay. Um, she seemed to be really up to date with, uh, I guess, keeping her things sort of modern or contemporary. Um, we're going to look at the other storage closet that is right next to that one. As you can see, it's, it's built exactly the same as the one over there, minus the wooden shoe rack. But this one comes with a metal shoe rack, so... But definitely a very spacious master bedroom with st plenty of storage. Okay, and of course, yes, the house does come with quite a few ceiling fans. We're looking at two, and actually three in the house right now. So if you chose not to use your air conditioning during some of the really hot months, you can really save on your electric bill. Let me go ahead and open this door so you can see. So you can see the door that we just opened leads you right back outside to the carport. Okay. So if you are interested, please feel free to give um, Charlie a call at 727-504-1336. Once again, that's 727-504-1336. Thanks and have a great day.